Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5Google with a very, very quick video. I've managed to get an APK to download, which is Windows Cortana or Microsoft's Cortana Assistant for Android. So I'm just going to take a quick look through the setup and guide you through some of the questions and just see what it looks like on our favorite operating system. So we click through next and let's see what happens. So you agree to the terms before you get started. Supposedly Cortana is your truly personal digital assistant. What would you like me to call you? How about Cam? And this setup is very similar on Windows Phone. I used to do a lot of reviewing Windows Phones and it would ask you what to call you. And now it says, hi Cam, it knows who I am. Then what it's probably going to do is going to ask me to sign into my Microsoft account. Now one of the great things about Cortana on Windows Phone is that it serves you up information like weather and news and all sorts of other things that you're interested in, very similar to Google Now. But what's different with this Android version is that it sort of lays it out more in Google style. So you have these set white cards that almost look like their material design and you can just swipe them off the screen, I presume. No, you can't. But you can go to weather, you can open up weather in more detail, but if I want to ask it something like... So yeah, this is definitely Cortana. It's the same response you would get from the Windows Phone version. Remind me to put the rubbish out when I get home tomorrow. So this is one of the great things about Cortana as well, is that you can set contextual reminders. Now you can tell it to remind you about stuff when you get to a certain place or at a certain time. What's the weather going to be like on Sunday? How about on Tuesday? What about Cape Town? Where's the nearest Italian restaurant? So this is another thing that's good about Cortana, is it seems to have this sort of all encapsulating view of how it can help you. It's similar to Siri, it's kind of similar to Google now. My experience with Cortana hasn't been as perhaps good or as intuitive as what I felt Google now is. I also like that they've designed it for Android. It doesn't look like a Windows Phone app. You've got the hamburger menu on the side. You've got home, notebook, reminders and feedback all built into that one app. Surprise me. Now I want to try some directions and see if it can navigate me anywhere. How do I get to Buckingham Palace? So I actually like that a lot. In Windows Phone, obviously what it does is it takes you to Nokia's Here Maps, or Microsoft's version of Maps. Now with Android obviously it's not going to do that because Cortana doesn't actually have the maps built into the application. So what it does instead is it takes you straight out to Google Maps. So that's a quick first look at Cortana for Android. It's not available to download yet from the Play Store but I'm guessing it will be very soon. This is the beta version. I'll include a link to the APK in the description box. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. You can follow me, tweet me, ask me anything you like, and I'll see you again soon.